Hello and welcome back to All Brains Are Awesome. Today we are going to be talking about questions. Um, part one, what are some reasons that people ask questions? Part two, what are the kinds of responses to questions? And part three, we are going to talk about why are questions hard for some brains? And if you have the kind of brain uh, for whom questions are hard, what can you do about it to make them a little less hard? All right, here we go. Part one. Why do people ask questions? Well, there's a lot of different reasons. Number one, you might be seeking information. Why did something happen? How does something work? What does that word mean? What is that? Discovering something new. Number two, to form new patterns in the brain. Um, to essentially to grow your brain, make it more flexible, stronger. Number three, you can ask questions to make something make sense. Makes you feel more certain, less confused. Number four, some people ask questions to understand other people better to feel more connected and familiar in a relationship, meaning to get to know someone else's brain. Number five, to stimulate creativity, to get new ideas. You ask a question to give you some inspiration. Number six, some people ask questions to solve problems. You have to really understand your problem before you can come up with ideas to solve it. Number seven, some people ask questions to help them remember something. What did we do last week? Huh, what did you say we were gonna do tomorrow? And number eight, sometimes asking questions increases your motivation to understand something. Because often if your brain has a question about something, it means you care about it. There might be other reasons that people ask questions too, but... Part two, how do people respond to questions? Well, I can think of three main ways that people respond to questions. Number one, they just answer it. Number two, they take their time to think about it. And number three, they don't answer the question. So let's talk about it. So number one, answering the question. Some, some questions have a correct answer, but most questions do not. Um, some questions that have a correct answer, uh, you know, they might have one correct answer or many correct answers. But usually, many questions, you know, they don't. Um, many times, uh, only the person answering can possibly know the answer because, because it's about their ideas or their feelings or their experiences. So number two way to respond to a question is to think about it. Some people want or need more time to process the question, really think about it before they answer it. So how do you let the other person know that you need more time? You could make a gesture, like, or you could use your mouth and, and speak and say, let me think about it, or I need a minute before answering. And then number three, some brains actually just flip their lid. Uh, you might know that you have three main parts of your brain. Here, I'm gonna pretend to be your brain. The cortex, we'll call that upstairs brain because it's on top. Um, that is the part of the brain responsible for thinking, planning, organizing information, making decisions, all that stuff. Um, then under there, you have downstairs brain. That's your limbic system. That's the one responsible for feelings and keeping us safe, giving us clues about our experience um, that are not within our control. They just happen in downstairs brain. And then you also have your brainstem. Brainstem is responsible for things like breathing and kind of automatic things that happen uh, without us being involved at all. So anyway, when we are having conversations, playing, connecting with other people, learning. We try to have upstairs brain do that because it's really good at that kind of stuff. But then 
anytime your brain thinks it's under threat, you can flip your lid. Big feelings make you flip your lid. Um, they are not bad. It just happens. And Whoop. flip your lid. Downstairs brain comes out and shuts it down because downstairs brain is designed to help keep us safe. There are some people um, for whom questions actually feel unsafe. Questions feel like a demand of some kind. And so, boom, triggered, flip your lid, close the door, close the door to questions, close the door to conversation. It's not a choice, it's just a reaction, boom. Your brain perceives fear. It's kind of like your, your downstairs brain thinks that there's a big scary bear who's asking you that question. Boom, flip your lid, close the door to conversation. So why do some brains find questions demanding, hard, or, or even scary? Uh, sometimes questions feel really demanding because they're outside of somebody's control. They might be feeling pressure because they know there's an expectation to respond to a question. They know that there's like a set, kind of a set time limit to respond to a question. Like they know that somebody's kind of waiting right there for a response. And just knowing that feels like too much pressure. Um, or some brains, uh, you know, they're just not sure what's gonna happen next in the conversation. And then like, boom flip your lid because of, of, of that kind of uncertainty. And the thing is, um, brains for whom questions are hard, they are perceiving a real stress, like a real threat, a real danger. They just automatically, you know, they might just like, you know, flip their lid, shut the door to conversation, automatically shut it down um, just to make the situation go away. Uh, often brains that are very sensitive to pressure and threat um, this questions can be extra hard when brain is busy processing other demands at the same time, um, particularly if that question came as an interruption. Sometimes interruptions just make a brain flip its lid um, and close the gate, even if the interruption was inviting someone to do something they liked. I hope this was a helpful overview of questions. Why do we ask them? How do we respond to them? and to begin to develop a little awareness about how many brains um, find questions really intense if they're asked directly. So anyway, um, part two, we are going to have some strategies specifically for those brains who do uh, perceive threat and demand when a direct question is asked. There are some things we can do in the moment to feel more comfortable. Uh, in the meantime, I hope that your awesome brain has an awesome day. See ya!